Hi everyone, this is Phil from It Gaming, and today I'm going to show you my guide to the loadout mannequin in Arc Genesis Part 2. The loadout mannequin is a new piece of furniture that is available in Arc Genesis Part 2, and it allows you to display your equipment and to equip it at your convenience. To unlock the loadout mannequin, you're going to need to go to your engrams, and you can unlock it at level 23. You'll also need to unlock the training dummy when you do so, because in actuality, the loadout mannequin is really just a gussied up training dummy. To craft the loadout mannequin, you're going to do so in the smithy. You'll do it in the structures and miscellaneous tabs. You'll see the loadout mannequin there, and you're going to need fiber, hide, thatch, and wood in order to craft it. When you go to place your loadout mannequin, you'll notice that there is a limit of 150 loadout mannequins in a particular area. If you need more than that, I think that might be a you problem. Now, to use it, you simply approach it and you press E by default on PC and you will transfer everything that you are currently wearing, everything in your inventory, and everything in your hotbar. You will be able to see the things that are on your hotbar in the top panel of the loadout mannequin. While having one loadout mannequin is good, having several is where it really shines because the whole purpose of having loadout mannequins is to be able to swap between multiple sets of equipment very quickly. There are a lot more options with the loadout mannequin when it comes to how you move items back and forth, and uh, those come in the form of the context wheel. Now you'll notice when you're in the wheel there are three different colored options. Those are the blue swap options, the red fill options and the yellow pull options. When you swap, that means that you're going to swap equipment with the dummy. When you fill, that means that you are going to put things into the dummy while taking nothing out. And when you pull, that means that you're going to be taking things out without putting them back in. You also have the option of swapping just certain parts of your inventory. So you could swap just your hot bar, or you could pull just the inventory, or you could fill just the equipment. So there's lots of different options available to you, and you can do so very, very quickly. If you wish to be even more precise with inventory swapping in the loadout mannequin, you can, of course, just go to the access inventory option. And when you go to there, you see you've just got a standard inventory and you can pull out whatever you like from wherever you like, including the individual slots. The loadout mannequin is still a training dummy as well, so if you attack a loadout mannequin, it will show a damage indication and you can see that that damage will vary depending on the armor that is on the mannequin. If you hit the mannequin multiple times, you might start thinking, uh-oh, we might be actually causing damage to the armor. But if you access the inventory, you can plainly see that the armor isn't taking any damage. You also have control of how long the DPS evaluation time will be. So if you go to the context wheel, you can change the DPS time to anywhere in between 1 and 60 seconds. So if you really want to beat on a mannequin for 60 seconds, now's your chance. Now you also have the option of changing the pose of the mannequin, so you can change them to uh, something a little bit more than just a neutral. Aw, oh, look at that. That's nice. The loadout mannequin defaults to a male form, but if you wish for it to be female, you can do so by changing its dermis to a female dummy, which is a weird turn of phrase. When you do so, any of the equipped equipment on the dummy will now just be in the inventory, and you will have to then swap it back if you wish it to be equipped. Finally, you can further customize your loadout mannequin by giving it a name. And that name will not only appear as floating text when you look directly at it, but also as a sign above the loadout itself on the mannequin. If you have any more tips about the loadout mannequin, tell us what they are in the comments below. If you found this video useful, please feel free to leave a like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. And as always, have fun up there!